All right, another video from the fourth pace in the Algebra 1 series, pace 1100. We're looking at pages 6 and 7. And uh, what's different here is we have these variables, but we also are given the value of three of the variables. And we're supposed to plug in those values and then solve to get an actual number, all right? So I'm going to start by replacing all of these variables with parentheses. I think we did that in an earlier pace. A really important step. So four parentheses minus two, square bracket, parentheses squared, plus parentheses squared, plus parentheses. Now, I actually, you know what, I should make this a braces. So what we do is we elevate all of the brackets to braces. We elevate all of these variables to parentheses. So this parentheses became a square bracket and then a parentheses minus parentheses square bracket plus, um, I think that's a three, and then minus five. Let me just check and see if that was a, uh, a Z. No, it's plus three. Okay, good. <clears throat> Now what I'm going to do is find all of the x's, and I'm going to plug in 3. So this was an x, so I'll plug in 3. This is an x, so I'm going to plug in 3. Looks like those are the only two x's. Let's find the y's. All right, here's a y right here, so I'll plug in 2. It's the only one. All right. And then I like to make my z's look like that. All right. Because if I make, if I write a Z like that, it looks too much like a two. And by the time you get to the third or fourth step, you're going to get confused. Is this a Z or is this a two? Of course, my friends in Africa, they don't even call it Z. They call it Z, right? I have, uh, we have missionary friends in uh, Botswana and in South Africa. And whenever I, they come home on furlough <clears throat> and we're doing math, they always call that Z. All right, so let's replace all the Z's with one. One, one, uno. All right, we plugged them all in. Now we have to follow our rules, remember? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Let's find the innermost parentheses, and that would be right here. So what is one minus three? Again, I always like to change it to subtraction to adding and change the second number to its opposite. So I'm adding one plus negative three. So I have negative two. And then right outside of that, I have a two, okay? And then a three, I'm trying to keep all these parentheses together. I can do the exponents now. What is one squared? Still one. What is three squared? Did you say six? No. Nine. All right. Now I'm going to leave this just to remind me that I'm working on just what's inside the braces. Okay. We're not going to deal with this right now. We want to deal with just inside this big part. So I simplified this first and then I kind of simplified these, but now I have it all in one step. Think about the order of operations. What do we do next? Addition and subtraction? No. We need to do the multiplication next. So two times negative two is negative four. So now I can add nine plus one is 10. 10 plus negative four is six. Six plus three, so all of this became nine. Okay, let me just double check that. <clears throat> So now let's bring this down. Four times one is four, minus two, okay? And then this whole thing became nine, and then minus five. Now the tempting thing, and this honestly, if I were gonna predict where a student is gonna make a mistake here, I'm gonna say they're gonna do this, four minus two to get two. And then they'll take the two times the nine, and then take the 18 minus five and get 13 and get it wrong. So let's talk about how to do this and get it right. What we need to do instead is do this multiplication first. Okay, so the 2 times 9 is 18, and then we have the 4 out front. 4 minus 18 
minus 5. So again, change subtraction to adding. Change the second number to its opposite. Now subtract the smaller from the larger. Keep the sign of the larger. Do the same for the last step and you're done. Okay, I'm not going to finish that one for you, but now that we helped you get the hard one all set up and we walk through all of the steps and explaining things, I hope that'll help you be able to go back and do some of the other problems here on page 6 on the top of page 7.